Right, this is a clip of um, my replication of Ed Leeds Gelman's flywheel. And um, this is how the magnets were set on the original T model. So they were set all around these holes and they had north, north, south, south and held together with this screw and a keeper. So what I'm going to do now is I'll take them off and I'll flip this over the way Ed Leeds Gelman had it in his wheel. Alright, so I flipped it over and now you can see that this is how Ed had his magnets and um, a lot of people, have, or a few people have tested and they say that Ed had the standard magnet set up of north, north, south, south so I'll probably try that first and see, see how that goes but at the moment I'm just playing around, cleaning everything up and I've just mounted this for today on a piece of wood which is attached onto this motor but later on I'll replace the wood with a piece of steel and I'll use the keyway I'll use the keyway there to secure everything in this is just an old three phase motor you can see the phases there but um, it's got good bearings in it so it spins really nice doesn't take any effort at all to spin it. Uh, this is another flywheel I've got here and it's still got all the gears and everything in it. Oh. Cool. You can see down in there gears. But I'll use this here, I want to take this ring off. Um, it's only held on by these screws so once I take the screws out I should be able to um, knock out this gear so that I can put it on mine up the top here Ed had another one up the top so I'll do that and um, we'll see how it goes if anything it'll make a nice generator and that's the original there. Here's some of the magnets that um, I've partially cleaned up. They come up pretty good. I'll give them a bit more of a scrub. And there's another big bag of them there that I haven't cleaned up yet. And uh, full of gunk and everything on them. But um, it's still magnetised, okay. But I'll re-magnetise them all, and um, we'll put them up, put them on. But I noticed when I did magnetise some, by the time I stacked five up, the fifth one on the top, it didn't want to sit. It kept wanting to slide off. So um, they get pretty strong. That's probably why Ed had the bolts to. You know, to bolt them down because they really needed to be um, held pretty tight but um, so there it is that's the beginning of my replication so I'll post some videos every now and again and just let everyone know how it's going and we can make some tests and things and make it a bit of an open project anyway see you later